and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish and reviewing the SPY. 12.46 in the afternoon on Friday. Really big sell-off day for this market. Interesting because when you look at it, you know, you think, well, after yesterday, everything was great. Everything was fine. And we had a low unemployment number this morning. And we gapped up this morning. And that's all true. But this morning in the trading room, I predicted that we would fall today. It was a question of time. And it happened earlier than I thought. We are end up doing a cheese sandwich, which yesterday was the cheese, and today is the bread, and the day before is the bread. We're sandwiching this green bar into the last two, three days here. And, you know, this looks really, really ugly, to be honest with you people. The fact that I predicted this is just, you know, I mean, I just got off the phone with, uh, with Shelly, and she said, you're great. You're really, really great. I said, thank you. You know, the longer that you trade, if you know what you're doing and you're focused on a specific strategy that works, you get better over time. And my intuition is not the reason for my success. Well, I shouldn't even say that. It, 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 my intuition actually helped me create my system. That's the truth. That's the truth. But my intuition is another level on top of the system itself. So the system itself, if you come and you learn and you trade with me and you do the class, you will have the benefit of learning my system, the nuts and bolts of it. So you can put it to practice for yourself. But if you're with me every day in the room and I tell you what I think every day in the room and if you're on the options newsletter, you will get that extra layer of my intuition because I'm seeing things that sometimes other people don't see. One of them was this, the move down today, the drop down today, the sell off that we've seen even here this week, Again, I use the system, okay? Call the trades, use the system, did it. But the fact is that my intuition is, a, is that extra, extra thing where I'm saying this is what is going to occur. And then it does, and it really is like magic. It really is absolutely like magic. And I think one of the reasons that traders never develop that intuition for themselves, which is something that you really should try to do. You should, you should try to do that, but you've got to focus on the right things. If you're not focused on the right things, you're never going to get a good intuition because you're all over the place and ultimately you're losing. You don't want to be focused on things that are making you lose. You want to focus on things that can make you win, okay? So what, focus, what do I focus on that makes me win and that has heightened my intuition? It's momentum, okay? It's selling momentum or buying momentum depending on whatever I'm looking at. And then it's also the gap itself. The gap itself is a meat and potatoes that tells me that this is going to occur after I see the gap. So I'm not predicting the gap. Like I didn't predict the market would gap up today. It did. We followed through the rally yesterday when we opened today. I predicted we'd fall on the gap today, which is what we did. I, didn't, I said, we're not going to, this isn't going to get bought. Okay. And it didn't get bought. And we did have good, good numbers. The unemployment number came out at four and a half. It ended up dropping to 4.2. That was good. But we had bad data on top of that as an overlay. So it was mixed data out this morning, which was that the jobs number didn't hit. Less people came back to work um, overall as far as the jobs number. It was a real big miss actually by half. And so that's a problem. And it's particularly a problem going into this whole thing with this new variant. And again, where, what does that mean? Does it mean the market's going to crash? Maybe. Uh, I, it's too soon to say. Too soon to even say any of that whatsoever. So don't even focus on that. Just play what you can at the moment. Right now we're playing this. This is great. It did it. It's working. It's fabulous. It was a short. Okay, but a lot of people went long yesterday. Theoretically, why you could have gone long yesterday, and if you had gotten out, you would have made money. That's true. A lot of people thought the market was going to continue and hold the strength and go back up to the highs. I didn't see it that way. And if people held on too long, then they lost today. And, and people are trying to buy this right now. I mean, this is so silly. In fact, let's look, look at the one minute. People are actually trying to buy this dip right now at 12.50 on a Friday afternoon after we tanked all morning and dropped. Look at this. People are trying to buy this right now. This is not the right thing to do. So the momentum right here is not to the upside. The momentum today is to the downside. Okay, do you understand? How to make money in the market. You play momentum in the correct direction, and that's how you do it. But it's really the gap. It's the gap itself. It's the gap itself. Let me just look here what the cues are doing. Just just a great week. What, what, a, what a great start, December. So we came all the way down here. All the way down in this. Let's look at Apple. That doesn't look too bad. This fell. This is tanking. Facebook, we did Facebook. That was a great short. I picked the right things this week. We, we could have done more. We could have done more. I mean, it's just, you know, you can't do everything. 
<clears throat> we do we do what we can. Let's look at this. The one thing is BA is still hanging on by a thread. Ooh, look at that. And, and again, there was good news about this here. Tanked here, gapped up here, rally, didn't go anywhere, fell this morning, trying to fall here now. This has got to break 195. It hasn't done it yet. Uh, but again, nothing's going to hang on if the market doesn't hang on. So what's going to happen? Well, we have to wait and see. Either this was it today, this big sell-off that we saw that came all the way down here between 9.30 and noon, 12.30-ish, whatever, where we started bouncing, and this is it. We're going to rally all the way back into the close and recover by four, or it's going to go back down and continue today. Again, somebody would have to step in and buy this. Institutional money would have to buy this to support it. I personally do not see that happening between now and four, but it could. It absolutely could. And one of the things about trading, again, you can never pick the low in a short. You can never pick the high in a long all the time correctly. Sometimes we get the great exits on things. Some, often I do, but not all the time. It's just the way it is. You play to make money. That's what you do. You do the best you can. It's very difficult to pinpoint the exact, exact, exact best point. I have targets, but I have multiple targets when I'm looking at things. So we'll see. I don't think money, big money is going to come in and step in and buy this today. I just don't see it happening. Friday, holiday week, everything. But it could, I guess it could theoretically, but retail traders aren't gonna be able to support this today, none whatsoever at all. And they came in yesterday and bought the market. It was a dumb move in my opinion, but people love to buy dips. That's not what we do. And quite frankly, it does not work. If you are buying dips and that is your strategy, you are losing overall year over year. Um, even in a bullish market, you can't do it in every stock all the time. And you can't even do it in the market, which is bullish and in an uptrend. So we're holding the uptrend here. We're trying to hang on. We'll see where we go in the next week. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to sign up for the Golden Gap class for the last class of the year, December 18th and 19th. Have a great day, everyone. See you soon.